Hello guys and welcome to another video from Time of Business. Today we are going to discuss high risk orders on Shopify. If you clicked on this video, most likely the fraud analysis report on one of your Shopify orders came as high risk of fraud detected. In this video, we are going to discuss what this means, how to manually inspect a few things and what should you do. Should you ship the order or cancel it? We recently had a high risk order on our website and I'm going to show you what I decided to do and why I did that. So I'm going to show you a full breakdown of this order, all the things that I took into consideration and the bunch of red flags that appeared. So make sure to stick until the end so that you know everything on what to do on these high risk orders. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, I'm George from Time of Business, and this is the place where you can learn about Shopify, Etsy, eBay, blogging, YouTube, so how to actually grow your business online. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also watch the rest of our videos because you are going to learn how to grow your business online. So there are three types of fraud analysis results, low, medium, and high. These results are based on historical data collected by Shopify along the years and the customer behavior from this order. For example, Shopify analyzes if the customer used a proxy or a VPN in order to change or hide their IP address, meaning their real location. Also, if the customer's location coincides with the billing or shipping address. Did they use a temporary email or a real one? How many checkout attempts were there? And based on these things, Shopify will tell you whether this is a high risk order or not. Most of your orders are going to be low risk, meaning you can actually ship them right away. Then we have medium risk orders where something unexpected happened. This can mean a bunch of things. For example, there have been several attempts at checkout or a different name has been used for the billing address. Maybe the customer placed the order using an IP that was a little bit too far from the actual shipping address. So there are a bunch of things that can actually trigger this medium risk response. But this can actually be a common thing because usually people can forget their PIN, so their security PIN, maybe they forgot to log into their bank app in order to confirm the transaction. Also, maybe you are traveling and you want to buy a gift for someone or for yourself, and that is why the IP address is different from the IP address of the recipient, so the shipping address. So there are a bunch of reasons that can actually be okay for you to ship. You can review these things and you can decide whether to ship the order or not. So far, we have never had a problem with medium risk orders. Now, when it comes to high risk orders, several of the things that I just mentioned happened at the same time. And that is why Shopify decided to notify you and tell you that this is a high risk fraudulent uh, order. So there is a risk that you are going to be charged back. For example, let's say that the customer used a proxy or a VPN to place the order. Also, the billing name doesn't coincide with the shipping address. So for example, the card holder is not the same as the one on the shipping address. Then the IP address used in order to purchase. So the location of the customer when purchasing is completely different from the place where the order is going to be shipped to. Also, what happened in our case, the customer used a temporary email, which is another big red flag. Shopify is going to recommend that you cancel this order, but you can proceed how you like. So for example, you can opt to ship the order, but if the owner of the card or the PayPal account is going to make a chargeback and is going to say that this was an unauthorized transaction, there is not much that you can do. Even though you ship the order on time, even if you ship the order to the right address, maybe it was even delivered, there is nothing that you can do against this fraudulent activity. This can have a negative impact on your business because you have shipped the product, so that is lost then you are going to most likely lose the dispute. So you are going to lose your money as well. On top of that, Shopify will charge you $15 dispute fee. 
So in order for this dispute to continue between Shopify and the bank or PayPal, you are going to be charged this dispute fee. If you lose, you are going to also pay that. So most likely in this high risk activity orders, you are going to lose all of those three things that I just mentioned. Another thing to take into consideration on the long run, if you have repetitive high risk orders, is that if you accept them and you have several disputes that were opened against you, Shopify can actually decide to increase your transaction fees just because you have that high risk activity on your Shopify store. So in order to protect yourself against these high transaction fees, you should definitely cancel all high risk orders on your Shopify store. Now, another important thing to mention is that when you cancel an order, all those transaction fees won't be returned to you, meaning you are going to lose the transaction fees that Shopify charges you. And also if you sell in a different currency, for example, we sell in euros and the buyer was in USD, so in dollars, we also lost the conversion transaction fee. So we lost these two fees on this transaction. Now I'm going to jump on my computer and show you more details about this order and also a few red flags that I identified by myself by reviewing this order, the customer email and also the location, so the shipping address. Let's jump on our computer. So we just jumped on our computer guys. This is the high risk order that I was talking about. I'm going to blur most of the things with the exception of the important stuff that can uh, actually be used as an example and I'm going to show you something that I saw. So the first thing that you can actually see is that here we have a view fraud analysis. So you can click on that and Shopify is going to show you a bunch of stuff about this order. So for example, characteristics of this order are similar to fraudulent orders observed in the past. As I mentioned before, Shopify has access to millions of orders that were processed through their websites and that is how they can actually analyze and improve on these uh, frauds so that they can actually observe them and they can inform you that this is most likely a fraud. Then you can also see that the IP address is very far compared to the address used for shipping. Also a web proxy, so an internet connection, a high risk internet connection was used in order to place this order. So this tells me that the customer actually hid his real IP address or his real location in order to place this order. Also, there are a few things that look normal, some stuff that they could not analyze so that they could not actually see. So something that caught my eye is that the order was placed for the United States. So the shipping address was in the United States but the email address is .uk, so this is a red flag. Now if I search this email online, so bankban.uk, I can actually see that this is a risk domain. So this is actually a disposable email domain where people can create email addresses just for temporary reasons, just as this one in order to scam someone and those emails are not used. So what I did is reach out to this customer, so to this exact email address and inform them that this uh, transaction has been uh, flagged as high risk and that I would need more information from them so that I could verify whether they are a real person or not. Then upon continuing my research, I entered this exact address that was used in the order and when you go online and look it up, you can actually see that this is the shipping address. So people are using this exact location in order to forward packages from this address somewhere else. So there are a lot of services in the United States or in other countries where people can order a product, an order to a certain place, and then it will be reshipped from there to a different location. So this tells me once again that this is a high risk order and that most likely nobody actually lives at that address but is being used in order to forward the product to a different location. So that for example if I have the package delivered it will actually be 
delivered somewhere else and that person will be protected and have my item while I need to refund the real owner of the funds the money back. Another thing that happened with high risk transactions is that a more expensive item will be ordered from your store. So for us the average order is somewhere between 150 to 180 dollars or euros and this is almost three times that order so that average order. This is once again something that is really useful for scammers in order to order a more expensive item from you and when you shipped it that is where you can actually lose that expensive product. So make sure to also do your manual due diligence so you can actually go and research the email address, the location to see whether that is a real person or not, a real address or not, if the email uh, is from a country or is a disposable, so a temporary email, if the order was placed from a different country, a long distance, and that is why we have decided to cancel the order. As you can see right here, the order has been canceled and refunded. So guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about Shopify, make sure to check out our website, timeofbusiness.com, because we have a bunch of blog posts. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot of free content where you can actually learn how to build your Shopify store, how to earn more, how to open and be successful on Etsy, on eBay, and many more. Thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I'm going to see you on the next one.